in this video you will see how i frame the solar shed then add osb on top finally install house swap and roof underlayment this was the day my lumber got delivered Those lumber will be used for the wall and the roof. The lumber on the side are gonna use as filler. First day of framing, this was toward the end of the day. I started by building the tallest wall. It's 14 feet high. At first I thought I was gonna be able to handle it by myself but it was way too heavy i should have built it in two sections maybe three i use a bunch of two by four to keep it in place while i start lifting it up from one side then walk back to the other side that's how i started lifting it up i was able to lift it up quite a way and then i got a second hand from my neighbor to lift it up all the way Then I needed more help after the wall was up and I asked the ladies to come out and hold the wall for me and then I used a crowbar and a couple piece of 2x4 as leverage to lift up the wall on top of the jable to put it in place. If I was building this wall again, I would build it in two pieces, maybe even three pieces. I did use double bottom plate with the foam seal between the lumber and the concrete. And the following day, I started working on the next section of the wall. First, I marked the lumber and pre drill where the jable is gonna go. And then from there, I started putting the wall together. After the wall was assembled, I lift it up into place and attach it to the previous wall. Then I move on to the front wall, where in the middle of it there will be a 36 inch door and two big windows. The front wall is 1 inch shy from being 8 feet tall, it's 95 inches tall. This wall was built in two sections, it's a lot easier doing it that way, learning from the back wall, although this one is not as tall. After the second section was assembled, then we're gonna lift it up and then attach it with nail and screw. And this is what it looked like after most of the walls are up. Then I started working on the corner of the wall, adding some more support. I used 2x6 for the windows header and 2x8 for the door header. I already added the trimmer stud to the door, now I'm adding the jack stud to the window. At first, I was debating whether to get a nail gun or should I just use a hammer. I'm so glad I got it because it made the job a lot easier and it go a lot faster. If you are interested in getting this nail gun, consider using my link in the description below or the clickable tag on the video. Then I moved to the side wall to continue building it. I attached a 2x4 from the back wall to the front wall. The angle between those two walls is close to 25 degrees. 
I will be using ratchet strap multiple times throughout this video to align the woods properly so I can secure them the right way. Then I continue to measure and attach the 2x4 to a proper location. The spacing for the 2x4 are 16 inches on center throughout the whole perimeter. It was getting late so I finished working on the section of the wall. The following day I started working on the opposite side of the wall. The wall forming are mostly done. I just have to add fire black between the wall to give it more strength. Then I started adding the rafter. Then I added the fascia to hold all the rafter together for now. Then I started to nail all the rafter into place. Then I used rafter tied as it require per code. Then I move to the back section to put the fascia and then I started nailing the rafter into place and again using tie down for every rafter. Because I work mostly by myself, I do go up and down this ladder more than I can count. And this is what the rafter look like after everything is in place. Then I use a couple pieces of lumber to hold the bottom part of the badge rafter while I secure the top portion of it. Once that was done, I moved to the bottom section, then secured it into place. Then I was able to remove the two pieces of lumber that was holding it in place. After that, I repeat the same thing on the other side. And once everything was secure, I went up there and cut the excess piece. Then I added some blocking between the rafters. Then I did some fly rafter between the badge rafter and the inner rafter. It is sitting on top of the wall adding some extra support and I spaced them 16 inches on center. Then I repeat the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
The next day, we started adding OSB to the framing. I asked my brother and my dad to lend me a hand that day. And then we started working on the back side of the wall. Then we moved to the other side of the wall and finally we got to the roof. We are not professional, I am just a homeowner who likes building stuff and I thought I would be able to do this and this is how far I got with it so far. I am really glad I had my brother and my dad to help me that day because this type of work takes a lot of energy, bringing the OSB up there and nailing it down on a hot day, it does take a lot of energy. The following day, I cut off the excess OSB. And then I installed the final piece of OSB on the top corner. And repeat the same thing on the other side. And this is the view from the top. Then I was ready to install the woofing on the lay mat. Continue installing the remaining OSB on the wall. I decided to add some extra support between the stud that's on both sides of the door. Then I finished framing for the window making sure the top plate is sloping out slightly.
finally I'm almost done with adding OSB to the wall. This is gonna be the last section. I'm completely done with adding the OSB. Now I'm gonna put on the house wrap. I staple this bottom corner first, then I pull it and staple that corner and then I push it upward on the ladder and staple it as I'm going up. And then I repeat the same thing on this side. I pull it toward me, do the bottom part first and then I move upward as I'm staple it in. I will the house wrap all the way around until I got to where I first started and then I cut it off. Then I move to the top to put the last section and then I tape everything together using a house wrap tape. This is how everything came out. I had to add this house wrap while it was raining. I am really happy with how this came out. I will leave link in the description below for the tools and merchandise that I use. If you have plan or interesting to buy any of those items, consider using my link. That's one way you can help out my channel. If you haven't seen the beginning of this process, I made a playlist for the solar shed. Check it out. You can see us digging the footing and doing the concrete job. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Have a good one.